Good morning, everybody. Wonderful morning it is. It's happy Tuesday morning. It is time for Morning Manna. Got a word for you on this morning. Part two. Part two. What do you do when it's broke and you can't fix it? What do you do when it's broke and you can't fix it? Got part two here for you. We're going to give Manna Fam just a few seconds to get everything together, get the audience together. And then we're going to jump right into the word on this morning. What do you do when it's broke and you can't fix it? Part two. Okay, here we go. Let's get right into it. Uh, you already know what the deal is. If it's, you're part of the Manna Fam, you know I'm going to give you the text to talk, the takeaway, and then you got to give the hearts to likes and you got to share. So let's get right into the word on this morning. What, is, what do you do? And yesterday, I, I delved into this whole thing about what is it that you need to do when it's broke and uh, you can't fix it. Gave you this whole story of me as a little kid, about six years old, five, six years old, uh, praying that God will fix my shovel uh, to the uh, sand bucket that I had gotten from uh, this Caucasian family because my mother was a domestic worker at the time and uh, prized it. I was just distraught. And so I gave you that story. If you want the rest of the, the end of the story, check out yesterday's matter. Let me get right into this morning. Here is the text. Uh, this morning is text is, get, is Judges 6, 36, and 30, 36 through 38. Judges 6, 36 through 38. Gideon said to God, if you will save Israel by my hand, then God, I need you to let dew be on the fleece, the wool fleece that I'm going to put down overnight and let it be dry all around the wool fleece. The next verse, God does it. And then here comes Gideon again. He says to, says to God, look, God, don't be mad with me, but if you want me to save Israel, if you want me to fix this thing, then I need you to do this, God. I want you to put dew all around the wool fleece and let the wool fleece be dry the next day. You know this story. Let me help you see it again uh, in a very different way. Here is Gideon, uh, who has been called now to go into battle. He's a judge, and he is going into battle because the Midianites are taking the Israelites' harvests. It's harvest season, and as you know, the enemy will come and try to get your harvest. The enemy will come and try to fix your situation and take what you have, comes to kill, steal, and destroy, and that's exactly what the Midianites are doing. And so Gideon is trying to fix this thing and is broken beyond repair. How do they get out of this? Three things I want to share with you. Try God. Gideon tried God. Look at the text. He, he said, look, God, this is what I need you to do. God, I want you to make sure that the fleece, the wool fleece that I'm going to put down needs to have dew on it. Now, everything around it needs to be dry. God did it. All right. Try God again. Try God again. And he tried God again. He said, God, now this is what I need you to do. I need you to let the fleece be dry and put dew all around it. He tried God again. And what? God did it. Here's the question. Have you ever tried God and he did exactly what you wanted him to do, but you still doubt it? You tried God, you asked him, he did it, and you still doubt it because the problem seemed to loom so large. God, when I get the, the doctor's report back, I want it to be this, that, or the other. It was, but you still doubt it that he could do the next thing. He, he, that's Gideon's problem. God did it, but he, he, here is Gideon says, I don't know whether or not, God, you can do the next thing. You tried God, God did it, you still doubt it. Here's the second thing. Trust God, trust God. Now, um, there's a difference between trying God and trusting God. Gideon tried God, but he was not in a place to yet trust God. What's the difference? You ever purchased a car um, 
and you know, you know what they do. You go on the lot. It says, what is it, what is it going to take to get you to drive home in this vehicle? The standard words from the, uh, the salesman. What is it going to take? Why don't you just take the keys and take it home? You've been there before. Take the keys, take it home. Go, go, go let the wife, go let the husband, go let your, your boyfriend, go, go let your dad, your, your mom, whatever. Go take the keys, take it home, bring it back tomorrow. They, they want you to what? Uh, they want you to go and try it. But more than that, they want you to buy it. Trusting God and trying God is like buying a car. <laughs> you can try it. It by taking it home. Trusting it is when you buy it, baby. God says, look, you know, it's just like me sitting in this seat right now. I can try the seat out, but do I trust the seat enough to buy it and sit in it every day? God is saying the same thing. Look, try me, try me, but don't just try me, trust me. Because when you trust me, you live your faith out. You live it out. Here's the third thing. Here's the third thing is this. Don't trip when God comes through. Try God, trust God, but don't trip when God comes through because God is going to come through. Come on, Romans 8.28. God works together all things for the good. So now if you try him, you trust him, and, ch and check this out, he's going to come through, so don't trip when he does. What's your takeaway this morning? Your takeaway is this. Catch this. It's a little long. I want you to get it. This is about you, not God. God is fixing you so he can fix your faith. This is not about God. This is about God fixing you so he can fix your faith. Go back to Judges 6.15. In Judges 6.15, it tells you the whole reason this story unfolds. In Judges 6.15, Gideon says, I am the least, I'm the lowest, and I'm left out. When God comes to him with the whole issue that he wants him to go to battle, uh, the response that Gideon gives to the angel, and, and he says to him, look, I, I'm the least in my family. We're the lowest clan in the tribe. And we have been left out for years. Why would you ever think, God, you're going to operate through me? God says this. I need to work on you so that I can work on your faith. What you going through right now? What you dealing with right now? Trust me. God is saying, let me work on you so I can work on your faith and fix your faith so you can fix the problem that you think can't be solved. The Lord be with you today. May his face shine upon you. Give you peace. I'll see you tomorrow morning with more morning matter. Share the matter. Bye now.